Hey farmers, and welcome back to another Haiti video. This is going to be the part two of my farm management videos, and today I'm going to be restocking my barn. So I'm just going to get started with the game. Let's just harvest my crops. Well, actually, there are no crops, it's just this um, pineapple. Let's check these visitors. Um, they're asking for these saws, so I'm just going to say no. And hi, mom need to buy stuff we're just gonna say no as well having a look at my boat let's see what do we need here so i need a lot of sunflower and some pea jam and these are the fish soup so i guess i'm just gonna do the sunflowers because i don't have any other things i might do one crate of the jam and um maybe i'm just gonna ask for the help on the soup i'm just gonna do this i don't care and we're gonna ask for help on the soup Let's collect more items. Now, all these things that I'm currently doing are actually the part of the farm management. Whatever you do in the game, all these things help you to make your farm better. So, talking about the barn restocking. Now, if you guys remember that for the past few months, I've not been playing Haiti properly. I was really doing other things, so I never really got the time to play this game. But still, I did a lot of events. Whenever Whatever XP events are, you know, the coins event, I did them because I didn't want to miss the chance to get some extra coins um, or XP. But the bad thing is that I did not run my machines. So um, due to that purpose, my barn got really low. Like, like all the stuff went low real quick. But if you have a look at my barn now, you can see there's still so many things that I'm missing. Or there's so many things that are in very low quantities. Um, you guys know that I keep 10 to 20 of everything. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm just going to be collecting the products and I'm going to be making them. So farm management actually takes a lot of time. And that's the reason I couldn't do it earlier because I just, you know, didn't have the time. So I've been doing this um, on and off for the past few days. Like I'm sort of free now so that I can play maybe more. But I'm just going to start. So let's start. Um, first of all, let's collect the products. Um, but the one thing that I would like to say that I've been collect making a lot of sugar. Um, if you guys have look at my sugar mill, you can see that I have so many sugars. And like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Oh my god. This is going to be absolutely crazy. But we're just going to collect all, all these, um, the products that I've been making. So making products is also one of my most favorite things of the game. I love products and I love to collect them because when you collect the products you get a lot of XP and if you sell them you can make a lot of coins so I also did a little bit of town I did boats as well and all those things really took away all my products whoops my barn is full that is actually crazy oh I don't know um apparently I have a lot of extra things that are like much over than my normal limits like I have a lot of tools I cannot even upgrade my barn so I'm just going to be selling some things that I don't need, and I'm going to be producing the things that I actually need. So for example, I don't need that much of wool. This is like way too extra. So I'm just going to be putting them. Or what I can do, I can start making more products. So let's start from the machines, and let's um, start making more products. So as you can see over here, that the fried candy bar, I've only got three, and I keep about ten. So I'm going to be putting them... Um, here and I guess I need more cacao. So yep, we do have a lot of cacaos and in my last um, Management video I talked about how I manage my trees and in this video I'm basically talking about Like how I sort of manage my machines and how I manage my barn as well So it's like a combination of both barn and machines um, So I'm just trying to like restock my barn with all the items that I'm missing so we're gonna make um all these the fried candy bars there I'm um, coming to the donuts. Let's see what I'm missing. I already have a lot in their normal amounts, but the, the filled donut, I've only got four. So we're going to make six there. And what I can do, I can just put all these. Okay, perfect. Coming to the next machine, which is the Awoke Kitchen. I definitely need to make more fried rice. Now, also keep in mind that you're going to use the crops. So you'll have to plant them so that you don't run out of them. Like, if you guys have a close look... You can see literally everything depends on your farm management. Like you've got your silo and the crops management, you've got your trees management there, and, um, I mean your machines and the barn management. So like, I love how this game created. I love the concept of all these things in the game. It's just so cool. And you can see that I 
I also have the cucumbers really low, so I'm going to plant them as well. Oh, we're having some diamonds. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that. Wait, what's that? Um, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to plant all these crops there. And I was doing this. Let's see what else I can make. So I'm going to make four of the peanut noodles. Let's see what else I can do. So I'm playing Haiti for like after two to three months, you guys. I have not run my machines. I'm missing so many items, but I guess it's time to come back and it's time to make them again. Um, Because I want to do a lot of trucks, so I definitely need a lot of products. Let me have a look at the truck order. You can see that most of them I still can do. Usually all of them are take, but right now there's only three that I can do. Take machine, let's make three uh, cream cakes. We're gonna make two of these and, oh, I need more cherries. Oh my God. Oh, thank God that I have them. I remember planting more cherry trees. Okay, perfect. And I need to make, so another tip is that start from the product that you actually have in the lowest amount. Like for example here, um, um, you can see that the flower shawl, I only have four, but the other products I have in more quantities, like the woolly hat, I don't need to make because I've got 11, the blue sweater, I've got eight, so I'll shawl, and I'll make six, and then I will come to the blue sweater, and I will make this red scarf. Okay, and that's also helping me to get rid of the things that I don't actually need, like the extra things. Okay, so the cakes are, I guess, done. Another strategy that I like to apply is that I run my sugar mill and dairy at the end because in this way, I know how much of the sugars and the dairy I actually need because almost all the machines are going to need these products. So you don't want to make them, you know, first so that you run out of them again. Uh, so that's what I do. Okay, coming to the bakery, as you can see, I've only got like uh, three of these. Uh, so I'm going to make seven there. And other things, oh my god, I need to make more potato bread. So, I had also hired Rose, but I think she's gone now. As you can see, she's not here. Uh, but she's so helpful, like, I love Rose. She um, keeps collecting all these products. So, we're just gonna collect some eggs. This is also uh, part of the farm management, you know, the animals management, you can call it. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna make more. There we go. And I was gonna make, okay, so that's done. Coming to the toasts. Uh, I need more raspberry jam. I actually do have the raspberry jam on my baby farms, but right now I do not have access to them. There's been just some problems. Hopefully soon. Okay, you can see that I've just got like one, uh, this is the, uh, the cucumber sandwich, and I'm gonna make more. The bad thing is that I've totally run out of bread, and my bakery is already filled with cookies and potato bread, so, um, I can't make bread right now, but I'll do that later. We need to do some popcorns management. I'm just going to make others because, you know, never let your machines stop. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I'm going to make one. Let's make four there. Coming to the whole BLD salad. I think I, I cannot make any more because I've run out of the mayonnaise, which is the most important ingredient if you want to make a lot of salads. So I will make just a lot of pies. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm missing like so many items. Uh, seems like I need more olives. Okay, I do have a lot of olives. I'm just going to collect them. As I always say, I can never have enough olives. Okay, and I'm just going to put some olive oil in the machine. Because I got zero, so I definitely need to make more. Coming to this machine, I will... Oh my god. Oh, I don't have any fish. Oh my god. Oh, I think I need to catch some fish. So basically, this is what happens when you come back to the game after so many months. Like, you don't even know what's going on. Um, normally, when I play the game, I never run out of these things. I always have them. But right now, I've just got zero fish. And who would believe that? This is crazy. So I think that I need to do some fishing. And I can't find the ghost right now. Uh, no, that's not the ghost. Okay, so I'll just do some fishing. Um, okay, there we go. It's really boring to catch the fish. I don't even usually do fishing. I mean, I've got my baby farms and I throw nets in the water. I hate to catch fish with the lures, unless it's a fishing even. That's when I like fishing. But normally, I, I don't. I think it's pretty boring. Or maybe it's just me who doesn't like fishing. Do you guys like fishing? I don't know. I've just caught two. And I think that's just going to take a lot of time. I'm just going to run back to my farm. I will do all other things later. 
Um, but yeah, you guys, that was all about how I was going to do my barn restocking, which basically means to make the products in your machines that you are missing. And you have to do it every day. Like if you're playing the game, you do your truck orders, you do town, you do boats. And at the end of the day, all what matters is that you make the product so that you can do all those things again. You can do more trucks. So like machines management or the barn restocking is something very important. You have to do every day. But since I didn't do that then, I'm doing it now. And that's what is, I think, kind of challenging. Um, I also don't have any eggs. Oh my god, what? Yeah, oh, I guess there's some eggs over here. I'm just gonna feed the chickens. And I will make some fresh pasta in here. What about my taco kitchen? So I guess that was all about the barn restocking. And let me have a look. I'm sure there's still many items that are in zero amounts. But I've made them. The olive oil I'm making. The jam I'm making. I think I'm not making this. Uh, the cafe mocha. So I guess I need to make this. And I need to make. Uh, this is the. Yeah, let's make watermelon juice. Oops, I literally forgot about it. And where's the cafe mocha? Oh, it's here. Oh, I need more cacaos. Why I can never have enough cacaos? I don't know. Man, they get used a lot. Like, a lot. I cannot even explain in words how much cacaos I need. Thousands of them, and I will still need more. This is absolutely insane. But anyways, that was all about this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. That was how I basically do my barn restocking. Um, keep making the products. Don't stop your machines. Just keep, even if you don't need the products, as I always say, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more hey videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.